the mind is closely related to the brain, making it difficult for most people to distinguish the two conveniently. The brain is believed to be a material thing, while the mind, on the other hand, is considered to be a mental thing. Many components make up the brain, such as nerve cells, and these components can be touched, but the components of the mind are not physical, and as such, cannot be handled. In this video, we'll distinguish between the brain and the mind. Hey, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos. 1. The mind is believed to be pure vibrating energy. It is untouchable. While the brain, on the other hand, the brain can be regarded as the physical manifestation of the mind, and it is the part that can be touched. The brain most times carries out thoughts that the mind processes, so people confuse them with each other. 2. The brain has one of its significant duties, the coordination of all body activities. It coordinates movements, emotions, and every other function of the body. Without the brain, the body would be considered dead because things would never go well with the body. On the other hand, the mind controls how we understand something, how we react to things that happen around us, and our thought processes. The mind is what holds the levels at which our emotions get to. That is why if someone has a hardened conscience, people say that he has a stiff mind because the mind controls people's conscience. 3. Another significant difference between the mind and the brain is that the brain is a physical part of the body. Since it is physical, it means that you can touch it. It also can be seen. But when we talk about the mind, it cannot be seen, felt, or touched. It's just something that we believe exists, but there's no given proof that such exists. Another difference is that since we know that the brain's a physical thing that can be touched and seen, some components make up the brain. These components are known as nerve cells and blood vessels. These cells are responsible for all the brain's functions, and without these cells, the brain is dead. A deficiency in any of these cells can also cause damage to the brain. On the other hand, the mind has no definite shape or components making up its constitution. Therefore, it cannot be damaged. I hope that you enjoyed the explanation. Please don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of subsequent updates. Thanks for watching.